Hi, how are you? I'm Jim Groom and I work with Reclaim Hosting and today I'm going to take you through how to install the open source self-hosted streaming software Owncast on Reclaim Cloud. So without further ado, let's get into it. And uh, I guess the first step would be getting a Reclaim Cloud account. Uh, Reclaim Cloud account. Uh, you can get a trial at reclaim.cloud. Um, right now, we limit signups for trials to uh, .edu domains, but um, if you reach out to us at support at reclaimhosting.com, <clears throat> we can get you set up. So there is that. Uh, but once you are all set up, you can log in and you will see something like this. This will be your kind of dashboard. And we're going to create a new environment. There are a lot of different environments you can use in Reclaim Cloud. Um, a Java environment, PHP, Ruby, and you can kind of build your own stack. But for this instance, we're going to be creating a Docker uh, container. So it's really going to be just simply searching for that in the Docker Hub and then installing it. So I'm going to look here, select an image. I'm going to look up Owncast here. And once I do, I will find this Gabe Congas Owncast. That's kind of the official one. I will select it. And behind me, so let me kind of remove myself here, is a next button. I will just click here. And now I have that Owncast instance kind of selected. Um, after that, I would choose my domain I want to use. This one will show as being already used because I've set this up to make the 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 whole thing a little bit easier. So that is going to be the domain I use. It's going to be in the Canada data center, but it could be on the East Coast, the West Coast, and the UK, um, wherever you are closest and makes most sense. Finally, before we do anything else, we're going to also install a doc, uh, install a load balancer. And this will be simply an Nginx. You can use the latest version. And um, once you've done that, you can click next here again. And so we have our load balancer, we have our Docker container. Um, the one thing on the load balancer is you have to make sure that it has a public IP. So be sure to check that. And the owncast uh, instance, the Docker container does not need a public IP. So without further ado, you would click here and then you would click create. Once you do that, um, the container of Owncast will be created as well as the load balancer. And once that is created, it will look a bit like this. So let me go here to my Owncast instance. I pre-installed and I'll actually try and add that to an environment so that it is kind of clear. And then let's look at that. So there's my first project and here we are. Okay, so this is actually the owncast instance, the load balancer has been installed, um, the application server, and once the load balancer was installed, it gave me an IP address. I'm gonna need that IP address because I wanna map a top level domain to this instance. So right now it's owncast.ca.reclaim.cloud, that's the subdomain Reclaim Cloud gives you, but I wanna use something like demo.bava.tv. So I'm gonna head on over to Bava TV, and uh, this is the DNS where I manage it on Cloudflare. So this is actually Cloudflare, you can see that up there. Sorry for the, the interference, but this is cloudflare.com. And here I can simply add a subdomain, demo for Baba TV, and add the um, IP address, right, which is the public IP address of that load balancer. And then once I save that, I don't use proxy status if you're using Cloudflare. If you're not using Cloudflare, you can use wherever you manage the DNS for your domains. This is a subdomain of Baba TV called demo. This is where it's pointing to this IP address. And I should turn off the proxy status for Cloudflare. I click save. And at this point, I will have the domain pointing to um, the actual owncast server pointing to that domain or that domain pointing to the owncast server the other way around. Finally, 
I want to also be sure to install a SSL cert because the whole reason we have a load balancer in front of this owncast container is so that we can make sure owncast loads over HTTPS. This is important not only to keep things safe, but also to embed your cast into another web page. Without the HTTPS, it will basically be refused. So in Reclaim Cloud, there's this thing called add-ons. You can click here and you can add a Let's Encrypt cert. So if I look here at the configure, I've already added demo.bava.tv. I'll click apply. And then that SSL cert will be kind of um, delivered or be granted for that domain. So basically that's set. I've already done that to save a little time. And at this point, there's one last step. And this is actually worth taking a second to talk about. So we have the load balancer, which is just basically directing traffic into the container for owncast. But one of the things is the owncast port for streaming um, RTMP streaming is 1935 and by default the, sh the load balancer does not directly see that so what we need to do is we need to go into settings go into endpoints and we need to create an endpoint for that so this endpoint is created but let me go in and edit it because it should be RTMP <laughs> my mistake and the private port you would add is 1935 the protocol is TCP and importantly, the node you would ask is the node of owncast. So you'll see here, 8335, you would select that node, the node where the owncast container has been installed. Once that's done, you can apply it and you'll be given a public port and this access URL. So this access URL is super important because instead of using the owncast RTMP URL, you're going to be using this one, and I'll show you that in a second. So this is the moment of truth. We're going to go over to demo.baba.tv, and if all things are equal, owncast will be installed, and it is. So we're set. The thing about owncast to keep in mind is when you're logging in, you go to dash admin, and your credentials when you're installing a new one are always admin as the username and ABC123 as the password. So we're gonna click that and the stream key, and I'll look at this in configuration, um, I think the stream key is also the password. So when you strain, change your stream key to something other than ABC123, that will actually change your password for logging in. So it will be admin and whatever your stream key is, is your password. So that's super good to know. Final piece, and this goes back to the endpoint thing we made, you'll see the streaming URL for the server by default is rtmp colon slash slash demo.baba.tv colon 1935 slash live slash, right? But that's not the one we're going to use um, in our OBS software or whatever else we have. In fact, we're going to use this endpoint. This is the endpoint that will be specific for your container that we just created in Reclaim Cloud. And this is basically pointing to that node, that own cast node on the Reclaim Cloud subdomain colon 11015, which is the port they open for 1935 slash live slash. So this is something important when you're doing it on Reclaim Cloud, you do have to create an endpoint and this URL will be specific to the endpoint you created. So if you have issues, we do have the community forum on Reclaim hosting and we do a lot of cloud support there. So feel free to add that. But Owncast is proving pretty fun. Uh, I hope you have fun with it. And uh, with that, I'm going to say thanks and uh, reclaim for life. <laughs>